Greetings, Four Color fans, and welcome back here to Metarog's channel. Well, since it is October and the season, fall is here, the air is getting crisper, less humidity, and we all know that October is uh, also the season for mystery and monsters and mayhem, at least uh, for f in, in, in a fun sense, let's hope, right? So I figured, you know, um, something that I don't think has been discussed much, uh, certainly not on YouTube, are the hosts of a lot of these um, horror and mystery comics. And specifically, I'm going to look at the hosts for Charlton Comics during the Bronze Age. Now, they did have a few hosts in the Golden Age and Silver Age, but I don't have those comics. So I'm just going to focus on the Bronze Age hosts, and there are quite a few different titles that had them. I know a little bit about uh, most of them, uh, but uh, some of them are, you know, just were not really, they didn't really delve into the history much. So I'm just going to go over them just for fun here. All right. So uh, I want to start with Haunted Love. Now this, as far as I know, this, I'm just as a completist, you know, <laughs> just as in a sense of trying to cover all the bases, I'm putting it here, but uh, there was no host for, I only have two or three issues of this title and I don't see any host in, in here. So, uh, but I am just mentioning it since it is a Bronze Age Charlton uh, horror mystery title of sorts. But uh, no host that I know of. But again, I just put it in there for completion's sake. Uh, let me see if I can get the glare off of there. Okay, fine. All right, here we go. Beyond the Grave. I'm going to see if I can show you an image of each of these as well, just so you know. Now, the host here, I believe his name was Mortimer Titian. And he was, as you can probably guess from the name, he was a mortician. And uh, here is the uh, gentleman. But uh, I don't think he was a live human. <laughs> he looked to me, you know, from, from his, uh, that bluish tone and kind of uh, <laughs> weird looking um, uh, palette of his, <laughs> of his skin. I believe he was a, a dead gentleman. Uh, maybe he was a zombie perhaps, but uh, <laughs> again, that was his name, Mortimer Titian. I don't know that much about him. He, he Again, th these hosts, I, I essentially introduced a lot of these stories and sometimes would give you like a, 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 a at the end would give you like a, the moral or give you a little bit of a tidbit about, you know, what happened to the, the un, uh, the, the very unlucky uh, person's who are part of that story, but uh, a lot of it is, you know, just, they're just sort of narrating. But I, what I do know about them, I'll let you know. All right, so here we have Creepy Tales, and I believe that uh, this guy is Mr. D. Munn. Yes, Demon, right? <laughs> Mr. D. Munn. Um, I, I think it's like D-E-E-M-U-N-N, -N, but obviously you pronounce it phonetically as Demon. And uh, as you can see, uh, he looks pretty demonic. Looks like he's got like a raven or something there. And he's got a cigar. You know, he's like a cool demon dude. <laughs> so that's what that's what he was. Zombie and a demon so far. Uh, <laughs> okay, Ghost Manor actually had two different hosts depending on the era here. This The earlier ones was the Old Witch, which is that background character there with the eye patch. And this has nothing to do with the old witch from EC, by the way. It was uh, you know that their own little ho host there. And then later on, we had Mr. Bones, which you can see here, introducing Mr. Bones. And he was a butler. But again, you know, with that skin and the really odd looking, you know, Features. I mean, he might have been a ghoul or maybe, again, another, you know, zombie. Who knows? But uh, he was like the butler and he would introduce the stories about Ghost Manor, you know, and, how it, and all the different tales to tell within. And here is uh, the go many ghosts of Dr. Graves. And there is Dr. Graves up there. And he was a, um, he was a, a supernatural investigator, I do believe. So obviously he he hosted a lot of uh, different tales based upon his experiences and so forth. And a lot from things that he's heard of and all that. All right, here we have Ghostly Haunts. And Ghostly Haunts was hosted by Winnie the Witch. There she is up there. And there's another little, 
little. Uh, I, I like the way that they actually put the host on the cover, so it made it easier. I wouldn't have to open these up. And she was, you know, kind of a modern witch. You know, she had those shades on. She had a cape. You know, kind of on the sexy side to show a lot of, you know, leg, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so, yeah. I mean, obviously, this was the 70s and trying to perhaps, you know, get some boys to buy them, you know. <laughs> All right. This is an interesting one here. This, I don't know too much about this guy. Uh, I believe it's Mr. L. Dead. Like, perhaps Living Dead? You know, that's the only thing I can think of that he might be. <laughs> Um, kind of, you know, it kind of had those little horns there that were actually here, and he had a, you know, high collar. I thought maybe he might be a vampire, but I don't remember him having pointy teeth, so, you know, maybe he was like a devilish kind of thing, uh, you know, some kind of, um, some kind of combination, uh, perhaps. Again, a lot of these guys, they, a lot of these hosts, they just really introduced the stories and, and, and everyone, they didn't have origins or anything like that. There, although though some did, including, like, I think Mr. Bones did, and later on we'll see Countess Found Blood. Here is MP. I know next to nothing because I only have two comics with him in it. Uh, he was here in Haunted before it became Baron Werewolf. Uh, and uh, he, he looks like maybe a ghost, but I don't remember him uh ever talking in the in the comics that i have him in he would just sort of showed up there at the beginning and that was about it and then again here is uh well not again but as i mentioned before <laughs> here's baron werewolf's haunted library and uh i believe he was a scholar of some sort and um he lived up in this castle with a huge library and he told tales from the different tomes and books that were included in there so, um, yeah, and here is uh, Midnight Tales, and the hosts there were, actually there were two, um, Professor Coffin and Arachne Coffin, I believe it was his, oh, yeah, his niece, and again, the professor was obviously a, a teacher at some point, a professor in some uh, kind of educational institution, and, uh, but later on, he became more of a, um, uh, I guess, a, an investigator as well. And his niece was obviously his helper in that endeavor. Um, yeah, so I already talked about Dr. Graves, didn't I? No, did I talk about Dr. Graves? Yeah, I talked about Dr. Graves already. Okay, so Monster Hunters is a little bit different kind of, um, because a little bit different kind of horror comic in a sense. It was very monster driven, obviously, by the title, you can see that. And the host was actually one of the Monster Hunters Club. I think that's what it was called there. And his name was Colonel White Shroud. And you can see there, he was a hunter. And he had a pipe and all, had a gun. And he had the safari attire. Now, obviously, it changed here and there. But, um, yeah. So that's who we had there. Uh, stately gentleman he was, I do believe. But, uh, again told tales of the monsters he's hunted or the club hunted etc and then here we have the penultimate one which is scary tales and my favorite of the hosts here hostess in this case is countess von blood b-l-u-d-d and she is a vampire she was actually turned by the count von blood i do believe way back when and he perished I think it was at her at her hands or no, I think it was at I think the hands of the maid. I don't recall now exactly how, but she her origin was told and she actually had quite a few little stories that she was involved in in scary tales and other titles. So uh, a very um sultry hostess as you can see with the whip and the red hair and uh, obviously a vampire. So you got to be careful there. And finally, just for completion's sake, I, I, I uh, included this, Tales of the Mysterious Traveler. This was actually now in the 80s, probably not really right at the end of the Bronze Age, beginning of, of the uh, Copper Age, although he, Mysterious Traveler, had comics from way back even in, I think, the Golden and Silver Age. And obviously, he was the host here, Tales of the Mysterious Traveler. So, you know, again, a Phantom Stranger kind of character. Um, uh, something like that. It's very mysterious. Not a lot of information on that. And that's it, folks. That is the, those are the hosts of the horror mystery comics from Charlton 
from the Bronze Age. Uh, again, I don't have a whole lot of information on them because there, I don't, just there wasn't that much in the comics themselves about them. At some, except for like I said, Countess uh, von Blood and Mr. Bones and a few others. So, hope you enjoyed this. I know it's kind of an obscure kind of topic, but that's the, that's what you get when you come here to Metarog's channel. <laughs> All right, everybody. I'll be seeing you uh, hopefully in the live chats and in a lot of other. Uh, I'm going to have a special uh, Halloween or you know, the horror comic themed live stream with a uh, competition with a bunch of uh, YouTubers that you will know coming up in a couple weeks. So stay tuned for that. And thanks again for stopping by and watching. I really do appreciate it. Be kind to each other. Be blessed and be back.